Hello boys and girls! I'm here to read uh, A Place for Everything. This is about Habit 3 from The 7 Habits of Happy Kids. This is by Sean Covey and it's illustrated by Stacy Curtis. Curtis and it's um, published by Scholastic. So we have been reading a lot of these in the last couple of days. We did Habit 1 which is Be Proactive, You're in Charge. Habit 2 is Begin with the End in Mind. Have a plan. And this one is habit three. Put first things first, work first, then play. This one might be one of the most important ones while you're learning from home. So let's go ahead and get started. It is about Jumper Rabbit and it's called A Place for Everything. One day, Jumper Rabbit bounced by Uncle Bud's Park. Pokey Porcupine, Stink Skunk, and Tag Along Alley, the mouse, were playing a pickup game of basketball with some of the badgers. Do you want to play? They asked. You betcha, said Jumper. But you can't play, Jumper, said Allie. You don't have any squeakles on. Whoop whops won't work. No problem, said Jumper. I'll race home and get my favorite basketball sneakers right now. So here he goes. Hmm, I wonder if he's going to be able to find them. But Jumper's hole was such a mess. He couldn't find his sneakers anywhere. They weren't in his closet or under his bed or with all the sports gear. It does not look like Jumper Rabbit is very organized. Jumper started tossing things out of his hole. Boink! Look who he hit! Goo Bear right in the head with his football! Ouch! yelled Goo Bear. What you doing, Jumper? You got ants in your pants? I can't find my favorite basketball sneakers and I need them right now! I see him sweating a little bit. I think he's trying to go really fast and he just can't find his sneakers. Maybe you left them at Lily's yesterday, said Goo. So they raced across Cherry Creek to Lily's burrow. But the sneakers weren't there either. They looked for Sam at Sam they looked for them at Sammy and Sophie's treehouse. In Allie's sandbox. At Pokey's place and even in Goob's cave, but still no sneakers. I'll never be able to play basketball again for the rest of my life, wailed Jumper. Hmm. Chill, said Goob. They've got to be in your hole. Let's go back and look. When they got to Jumper's, Goob said, no wonder you can't find your sneakers. Your hole looks like a tornado hit it. My dad taught me a place for everything and everything in its place. What does that mean? asked Jumper. It means you have to organize your things so you can find them. Otherwise, you waste a lot of time looking for stuff. Oh, said Jumper. Can you help to magnetize or whatever that word is? It took several hours to clean up the hole, but finally they found the basketball sneakers at the bottom of a big heap of smelly clothes. They also found other things Jumper had been missing for a long time, like his remote control helicopter and the silver dollar that his grandpa gave him. I wonder if you're doing any organization while you are at home right now. By the time they got back to Uncle Bud's park, the game was all over. Bomber, said Jumper. Don't worry, Jumper. You'll be ready next time, said Goob. Let's not let it ruin our day. Let's go look for ladybugs instead. Have you seen my magnifying glass? Do you see it? He doesn't know where he put it. So boys and girls, think about Jumper Rabbit today, and I want you to think about how you're going to organize and how you're going to work first, then play. See you next time.